Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel video tutorials. In this video, we'll be covering the use of attribute measurement systems analysis binary found within Sigma Excel. Attribute MSA is also known as attribute agreement analysis. The binary option is used if there are only two possible outcomes for the assessed result. For this video, we'll be using a sample data set found within Sigma Excel called Attribute MSA AIAG. In this data, 50 samples were taken. There are three appraisers and three trials with a zero and one response. A good sample is denoted as a one and a bad sample is denoted as a zero. Note that this data is in stacked column format and the known reference values are consistent for each sample. This is required in order to properly use attribute MSA binary. To open the tool, click Sigma Excel, Measurement Systems Analysis, Attribute MSA Binary. Select Part, Appraiser, Assessed Result, and Reference, as I'm demonstrating here. If you'd like to add any optional report information, click Report Information and fill in the desired field. Select Percent Confidence Interval Type Exact. The default good level of 1 will be used as specified in the AIAG manual. The good level definition is used to determine Type 1 and Type 2 error rates. It is applicable only when a true standard is selected. Percent confidence interval type applies to the percent agreement and percent effectiveness confidence intervals. These are binomial proportions that have an oscillation phenomenon where the coverage probability varies with the sample size and proportion value. Exact is strictly conservative and will guarantee the specified confidence level as a minimum coverage probability, but results in wider intervals. Wilson score has a mean coverage probability that matches the specified confidence interval. Since the intervals are narrower and thereby more powerful, Wilson score is recommended for use in attribute MSA studies due to the small sample sizes typically used. Exact is selected in this example for continuity from previous versions of the Sigma Excel workbook. Here we have the Attribute MSA Binary Analysis Report. While this report is quite extensive, a quick assessment of the attribute measurement system can be made by viewing the kappa color highlights. For instance, green would be a very good agreement, kappa of greater than or equal to 0.9. Yellow would be marginally acceptable. Improvement should be considered, however with a kappa of 0.7 to less than 0.9, and red would be unacceptable with a kappa of less than 0.7. Within appraiser agreement is an assessment of each appraiser's consistency of ratings across trials and requires at least two trials. This is analogous to gauge r and repeatability. Note that the reference standard is not considered, so an appraiser may be perfectly consistent, but consistently wrong. Within appraiser percent agreement will decrease as the number of trials increase because a match occurs only if an appraiser is consistent across all trials. Use the kappa confidence interval within appraiser agreement graph to determine adequacy of the within appraiser agreement. You can hover the mouse pointer over the heading cells to view the report comments. Number inspected, the number of parts or samples, number matched, a match occurs only if appraiser is consistent across all trials. Percent agreement equals the number matched by number inspected times 100. LC equals percent is the lower confidence limit, while UC equals percent is the upper confidence limit. The Fleiss Kappa statistic is a measure of agreement that is analogous to a correlation coefficient for discrete data. Kappa ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. A kappa value of positive 1 indicates perfect agreement. If kappa equals 0, then agreement is the same as would be expected by chance. If kappa equals negative 1, then there is perfect disagreement. Fleiss kappa p-value statistic. 
Fleiss Kappa lower confidence and Fleiss Kappa upper confidence. These limits use a Kappa normal approximation. In this example, we have marginal width and appraiser agreement for each of the appraisers. Each appraiser versus standard agreement is an assessment of each appraiser's ratings across trials compared to known reference standard. The percent CI each appraiser versus standard agreement graph can be used to compare agreement to the standard across all the appraisers, but should not be used as an absolute measure of agreement. Each appraiser versus standard agreement will decrease as the number of trials increase because a match occurs only if an appraiser agrees with the standard consistently across all trials. Use Fleiss Kappa in each appraiser versus standard agreement table to determine the adequacy of each appraiser versus standard agreement. Each appraiser versus standard disagreement is a breakdown of each appraiser's rating misclassifications compared to a known reference standard. This table is applicable only to binary two-level responses. A type 1 error occurs when the appraiser consistently assesses a good part or sample as bad. Good is defined by the user in the attribute MSA analysis dialog. A type 2 error occurs when a bad part or sample is consistently assessed as good. A mixed error occurs when the assessments across trials are not identical. Between appraiser agreement is an assessment of the appraiser's consistency of ratings across trials and between each other. At least two appraisers are required. Note that the reference standard is not considered, so the appraisers may be perfectly consistent but consistently wrong. All appraisers versus standard agreement is an assessment of all appraisers' ratings across trials compared to a known reference standard. Since the between appraiser agreement and all appraisers versus standard agreement are marginally acceptable, improvements to the attribute measurement should be considered. Look for unclear or confusing operational definitions, inadequate training, operator distractions, or poor lighting. Consider the use of pictures to clearly define a defect. The Attribute Effectiveness Report is similar to the Attribute Agreement Report, but treats each trial as an opportunity. Consistency across trials or appraisers is not considered. This has the benefit of providing a percent measure that is unaffected by the number of trials or appraisers. Also, the increased sample size for a number inspected results in a reduction of the width of the percent confidence interval. The misclassification report shows all errors classified as type 1 or type 2. Mixed errors are not relevant here. The report requires a known reference standard and includes each appraiser versus standard effectiveness, all appraisers versus standard effectiveness, and effectiveness and misclassification summary. Each appraiser versus standard effectiveness is an assessment of each appraiser's ratings compared to a known reference standard. All appraisers versus standard effectiveness is an assessment of all appraiser's ratings compared to a known reference standard. Each appraiser versus standard misclassification is a breakdown of each appraiser's rating misclassifications compared to a known reference standard. All appraisers versus standard misclassification is a breakdown of all appraisers rating misclassifications compared to a known reference standard. Effectiveness and misclassification summary is a summary table of all appraisers' correct rating counts and misclassification counts compared to the known reference standard values. Attribute MSA data is a summary showing the original data in unstacked format. 
This makes it easy to visually compare appraiser results by part. If a reference standard is provided, the cells are color highlighted. Green agrees with the reference. Yellow is a type 1 error. And red is a type 2 error. In conclusion, with the Kappa scores in the yellow zone at less than 0.9, and percent effectiveness less than 95%. This measurement system is marginal and should be improved. Appraiser B is the exception and does well against the standard. Use Attribute MSA as a way to put your stake in the ground and track the effectiveness of improvements to the measurement system. This concludes the Sigma Excel tutorial video for Attribute MSA binary. For more videos, visit us at www.sigmaxcel.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.